Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel and if you are new, hit that subscribe button. But today what we're working on is a 97 Chevy 3500 with a 6.5 Detroit in it. Um, the problem with the truck is it stalls once it gets up to operating temperature. And from what I've read on a few of the forums is there is a control module which is called the pump management drive. And what'll happen is that thing will overheat and I'm pretty sure this one is original. It doesn't look like it's ever been replaced. And so it'll overheat and then the truck will just shut off. It'll restart, but it'll only last for so long and then it'll shut off again. So there's no check engine light on the dash that comes up, nothing like that. And a lot of people said if there's no check engine light, <clears throat> more than likely it's gonna be that. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's a tiny little black box that sits down in there. And then a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll take the box and they'll relocate it over to the driver's side apron and mount it like right up in here. That way you can access it easier if this one doesn't last as long as the OEM one. So what I'll do is I'll just see if I can get in there with a screwdriver, pop the wire off. And if I have to, I'll add some more wire to that harness and then fire it up, let it get up to operating temperature, take it for a test drive and see if it still has the same issues that it was having earlier. If not, that's good because I want to get her down the road and back to the owner. But I'll shut up and see if I can get this thing out. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully it's just a quick, easy repair. And then if you guys have the same problems, that way you guys can see how I did it and hopefully that'll help. So I'll uh, get to it. Got it pulled out. I'll show you guys real quick. But it is right right there, and like I said, it was down in here, so I had to kind of wiggle it out of there. But there's also a ground strap that goes in the, into the fuel pump for the injectors, and what you gotta do is undo it with the Torx, and I don't remember exactly which size it was. I think it was like a, it's either a T15 or a T20. Just make sure that you don't drop it down in the valley of the block. Just take a magnet once you get it loose enough and then pull it out and then put it back in because it's got to stay in that housing. All right, so I got the control module moved. It's sitting right here now. It's kind of dark. But I moved it over to right here. That way, if it does take a pooey and just change it out real quick. And I'll actually have some airflow underneath. It won't be so saturated in heat down in that valley like it was and the old box is still on there i didn't take it off so that's fine but yeah i moved it to right there and then uh maybe later on i'll tell them to bring it back over and let's make a new harness and move it over so it's a little bit farther away from the engine but let's check and see if this thing will fire up it should and then move it out and take it for a quick test drive and make sure everything is good to go on the truck First, I need the keys though. That might help. And it's cold in this shop. So. Uh. Wait for the old glow plugs to shut off. There we go. It should fire up. She's 
loud. But yeah, let's take this thing out for a quick test drive. All right, I gotta get some heat in the engine, but she's running right now. So hopefully, like I said, that control module is it. And if I end up dropping the GoPro, it's because it died. So hopefully not. Nice rainy, lovely day today, which is great. Good day to film. Six five, she seems to be clattering away pretty good. And these are the same motors. I think the military ones were a little bit more upgraded for power and stuff, but I think these are the same motors that were in like the Humvees and stuff. So there's really not too much I can go wrong with these things. Well, if you guys liked today's video on the 6.5 diesel, it's just a quick one on if you're having troubles with it stalling out and stuff and dying on you. It'll be, just be that pump management module and it's super easy to change. You can get them on Amazon and stuff and then you can get a longer lead and relocate it even more than what I did. But for now, he needs the truck so I did that just so he can use it. It is super windy at my house but um, and in the shop. So if you guys like today's video, hit that like and subscribe button. Also the notification bell. And also leave a comment. Catch you guys next time. Later.